Brothers and sisters, you have God. Why are you jealous of what this world has to offer? I think sometimes today the church has kind of sold its birthright. Uh, We try to be like the world, and if you come to church, you're going to hear an entertaining, comedic lecture, and and we're going to have a concert, and and we're going to have friendships like the rest of the world, and we're going to give away iPads or whatever else we try to do that's silly in church. Let me tell you what I have to give you this morning. You can enter into a relationship with the God of the universe who made you, and he loves you, and he can pay for your sin. His bigness does not make you oblivious to him. In fact, it's precisely the reason that he can care for you individually. He can be in a special relationship with you and with the rest of the world. He's that awesome. And when you're in a relationship with him, you receive the most incredible of promises. Those who were once headed towards destruction because of their sin now gain eternal life and are co-heirs with the living God. And I get to offer you this morning, I can give you that promise, not because I'm some special authority that I have as a pastor, but because Jesus has all authority. And before Jesus left, he said, all authority has been given to me on heaven and on earth, and he told us to go make disciples. He invites us into this relationship. He has done this for me, and he invites me to tell others that he will do the same for them. Christianity is not about what you know, but about who you know. And do you know the one who can save you from all your sin? Do you know the one who can fulfill every longing and desire of your hearts? Do you know the one who made you for himself? And do you know the one who loves you even when you didn't love him back?